hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing awesome so today i'm just gonna go straight into the video um i saw this hairstyle on tiktok and i was like hmm let me give it a shot the only difference though is i have 4c hair and my clip-ins are 3c to 4a in the original video she had 4a type hair and her clip-ins were 4a so i was just feeling very adventurous and you know decided to give it a go now i'm gonna be using my curls curls clip-ins this is actually the third time i'm styling these on my uh, channel so if you haven't checked out the previous videos please check the description box i would link it below um, and for my braiding pattern as you can see i just did regular braids going to the back you don't have to make it neat because no one's gonna see it <laughs> guys when i tell you these clippings have been through hell and back like i have brushed them out i have abandoned them they've been dry and crusty but once i use water and curl defining cream the curls just pop right back like this is such a good investment so please make sure you purchase this i do have a dis uh, discount code i'm gonna leave it in the description box so here you can see me adding some water just to um, saturate the hair and then I went in with uh, Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. You don't have to use this exact product, that's why I didn't show it. Any curling cream or even gel could work, but those are the only two products I use. And guys, look how beautiful and lush these curls look the curls on these clippings always pop right back no matter how much you've neglected them that's why i love this clipping so much so yeah i'm just basically filling out the spaces i didn't actually use all the tracks i think i had about two more left um that's because i didn't want to like make my hair very unrealistic um so feel free to add as much tracks as you want So this is the easy part, defining the curls, that's no problem. The problem is gonna be blending my 4C hair with this clip-ins. But the good thing about the clip-ins is when it dries, it kind of has that frizzy um, look. So you can kind of get away with it, like with blending it with your 4C hair. Now my hair is stretched. I use a straightener and heat for the front section because of my previous hairstyle, hence why it's like super straight. So to get the curls back, I'm gonna saturate my hair with water, not too much. And then the star of the show is Eco Styler Gel. You basically wanna coat your strands from the roots to the tip with this Eco Styler Gel. And you also wanna massage it in, like smooth it down so that the gel evenly distributes. Now this Tangle Teaser brush is actually like a game changer. Guys, look how much my curls like pops right back. So I would definitely recommend those two things eco styler and a tangle teaser just ignore the white residue you see it's because of my leave-in conditioner i use Cantu the first time i'm using it and it just doesn't blend well with eco styler gel so i can't wait till i run out so i can buy like a black owned um, leave-in conditioner so i basically repeated the same process on the other part of my hair and guys whoo i was in love i'm definitely gonna try a wash and go someday um i don't know how that's gonna turn out but the curls i was getting really is very encouraging and i know some people are gonna be like oh you don't have 4c hair you have 4b hair go and watch my other videos guys my hair is very much 4c without gel i don't have any definition and 4c hair does have a little bit of curl definition if you use the right products
I'm then gonna braid my hair and the clippings together. You have to take your time with this and always check that your tracks aren't showing because I had to do this like two times. The first time I did it, I took too much of my natural hair so I wasn't concealing the weft. So make sure you take your time, uh, braid very nicely. Again, don't come for my edges guys. Like I have tried every single thing on the planet to do with edges. I've done castor oil, I've done uh, edge massages, I've gotten all the IG products that they say grow edges, but it just won't grow. And I've come to terms with it because I was naturally born with um, thin edges. So there's nothing really I can do. I never had hair there. So thank you in advance for all the suggestions, but it just, it just doesn't work, you know, and I'm just comfortable with it at the moment. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to see here. I just wanted to see how my hair would blend if I didn't um, braid it and I think it's it's fairly okay. You know, I'll probably have to do some more work, but like it, it's it's manageable <laughs> So I'm going to attempt, keyword, attempt to lay my edges, but I don't even know why I always do this to myself because my edges always curl up every single time. I got the Style Factor Edge Booster. I'm expecting it soon. So hopefully that works because I've heard so many amazing things about that stuff on 4C edges. So I'm definitely going to review it when I receive it. So yeah, guys, this is the semi-final result. <laughs> Um, I was so nervous guys like because my hair wasn't super dry, but I didn't want to use heat. So um, Yeah, look at the edges guys. I took my time to lay. Look how it curled up so much Don't worry. I'm gonna redo them and also blend out my foundation line. So Just pardon me whilst I apply these accessories and I've been starting to like using like these little gold accessories because they just take the hairstyle like up a notch, you know so yeah guys, this is the final result. I absolutely love this hairstyle. A lot of people thought it was my hair. Like this is definitely gonna be a staple hairstyle of mine. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below if you like this hairstyle or if you're gonna try it. And also purchase these clip-ins. They are a very good investment, trust me. Thank you so much guys and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.